Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome to our daily devotional time. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd of 2023. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith um, and pause for our upper room daily devotional. Um, I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries. Sorry, I got um, caught up in proofing this week's um, worship guide, so getting everything pull, re-pulled back up for myself. Um, this, um, I'm Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries at St. John's Seary Methodist Church, and this is our point where we get to pause midday and share in a daily devotional together. Um, we'll be in the upper room again today. Um, we will share in some... <laughs> My camera almost fell down. There we go. Uh, we will share in some scripture, um, prayer, and reflection. Um, don't worry, I'll get my app together at some point. Um, maybe not right now, but I will at some point. <laughs> um, we will be in the book of Ecclesiastes today, so if anybody wants to follow along, you're more than welcome to do so. I mean, if I was too polished, nobody would like me, right? <laughs> camera almost falling down, got distracted doing other things. It's a Wednesday. It's all good. <laughs> good morning, Jack Dunbar. It is a pleasure to see you as well. Um, I'll be on um, doing daily devotional for about the next two weeks um, while Jim and a bunch of others are taking their trip to the Holy Land. Um, so it might be a lighter crowd here for daily devotionals. Um, and that's fine. We'll have a fun, intimate time with one another. Um, I believe it is 2 a.m. Holy Land time. Um, if I got my math or somebody told me my math correctly. So 11.45 a.m. here is like 2.45 or 1.45 a.m. their time. So um, they might take time to rewatch this later on in their day um, or they might be busy doing other things. So who knows? Um, but if you're joining me now live or later on in the day, if you want to leave a comment below, uh, we always like to know which ones of our friends stopped by. Um, if you want to share to your Facebook page um, for your friends to view, um, you are also more than welcome to do so. Well, good morning, Jim. I feel like you should be in bed asleep right now, but good morning. Hopefully you all had a good and safe flight. We'll be in the book of Ecclesiastes right now. Jim, I'm very surprised to see you on here right now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Hopefully you are getting some rest shortly, maybe? Who knows? Um, Ecclesiastes. Oh, it's 6.48 p.m. here. Oh, and Marilyn is listening on the bus, too. Why did I think it was 2 a.m.? Somebody told me it was going to be 2 a.m. Okay. Marilyn is also listening on the bus from Israel, and it is 6.45 p.m., so I'm sure that you all are very tired and ready to take a nap. Oh, you're on the bus. Good morning, Barb and Chris Mueller. Hello, hello. Well, it is rainy here in Kansas City, so I hope it is um, better weather in Israel. <laughs> and I hope everybody had a good flight. Hopefully there were snacks provided. Okay, so Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Well, everybody that is on the bus to Israel, hello from Miss Allie from Kansas City. We hope that you are all having a good trip. We are praying for your safe and happy travels. May you have many rich memories blessed upon you all. Hi, Jamie, as well, from Miss Maryland. Good to see you as well. Or, you know. Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8 is where we will be today. And I will be reading from the Common English Bible. There is a season for everything, and a time for every matter under the heavens, a time for giving birth and a time for dying, a time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted, and a time for killing and a time for healing, a time for tearing down and a time for building up, a time for crying and a time for laughing, a time for mourning and a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones, a time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces, a time for searching and a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for throwing away, a time for tearing and a time for repairing, a time for keeping silent and a time for speaking, a time for loving and a time for hating, a time for war and a time for peace. And our focus verse for today is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 of the NIV. And it reads, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. 
And our thought for today is brokenness allows for new and beautiful growth. And our Upper Room Daily Devotional author today is Sue from Wisconsin. And these are her thoughts that she is sharing with us today. In the winter, I often walk through the woods with my dog. To make paths for us, sometimes I break off branches that are in the way. Most of them snap and easily break off, but some are so resilient that no matter what I do, they bend, but they don't break. I used to think that I too should never break. I thought that I should be so grounded in and sustained by my faith that in any circumstances I could bend without breaking. But then in the spring, I witnessed uh, the broken branches beautifully sprouting new growth. I realized that being resilient is worthwhile, but allowing myself to be broken it could have its advantages too. Being pushed into new growth expands my perspective, possibilities, and potential. When I, go, uh, when, I, when I let go of old patterns that no longer serve me, new patterns can take their place. This has been a challenging year. While I have maintained an underlying resilience, I have also experienced moments of great brokenness. Being faithful doesn't always come with clear answers. Maybe there is a time to be resilient and a time to be broken. Perhaps we can embody both resilience and brokenness at the same time. Our spiritual journey just, right, just might require both. Um, when thinking about today's devotion, I'm actually thinking to this Sunday's upcoming sermon, um, which is Over Surrender. But the book that we are in is Embracing the Uncertainty that Jim selected for us for this Lytton journey this year. Um, and it's the uncertainty. I don't know about many of you, but growing up, I was kind of raised to believe to a certain extent is that you have faith. You have faith no matter what, and you don't always necessarily question it. But as I have grown um, as a person and in my faith, um, I have learned that sometimes embracing the uncertainty um, can allow for new growth. It's okay to have questions, and sometimes having those questions and seeking out the answers to your questions um, can kind of, in a way, um, it's, it might just be required for our spiritual journey and growth because through seeking, we can better find and better understand things. Um, you're not just um, necessarily regurgitating what you heard, but you're really able to stop and ponder and think and marinate. And when thinking about our changes in seasons, um, fall is always so beautiful because of the colors of the leaves. So many of us look forward to fall, we embrace fall. But it's through those leaves, um, they're actually dying. That's why they have those beautiful colors in them, is that is their process of dying. Um, it's a beautiful death, but it's still dying. Um, but through those leaves falling, we grind them up. Some of us turn it into mulch for our yard. Um, and then we're here upon spring um, with signs of life all around us. Um, my tulip bulbs are starting to pop up in my um, front flower bed. And yesterday I actually saw a mushroom in there. And I told my husband, I was like, I kind of like spring mushrooms. I know that they're just an ugly fungus, but it's, you know, signs that everything is getting wet and well taken care of. Um, and that hopefully we'll have some green grass and everything among us. Um, but I like how our author today um, kind of, you know, the resilience of being broken and that it's okay to bend. Um, thinking about um, bamboo, it bends. It doesn't necessarily break easily, but it bends. And sometimes we have to do that in life. We have to bend. Um, it might not be our plan to bend. It might not have been what we thought part of our journey was, but having that flexibility to know that it's okay to question. It is okay to have uncertainties. It is okay to seek out new or different answers. Um, it's okay to struggle with faith. I think many of us at times have had those moments, um, those low points of wondering um, and seeking out questions. And hopefully um, you've been able to find um, answers or guidance or comfort, um, not just within um, sitting in a pew on Sunday, but within the members of that community. Um, I remember thinking growing up, why, does my why do my parents go to Sunday school? It's like Sunday school's for kids. 
Um, but now I get it. I understand why grown-ups go to Sunday school. It's to seek out those answers. And I will tell you, teaching children Sunday school, I have learned more about the Bible through teaching children the kids' lessons um, than I could have probably ever imagined learning on a Sunday morning in a pew. Because I start having my own questions of why was it done this way? And I wonder, you know, what came before the story that, you know, allowed us to get to this place and everything. So I always say, if you ever want to understand the Bible better, teach Sunday school. <laughs> um, because you do, you become prepared and everything. You become a little bit of a self-appointed expert for that Sunday over that topic. Um, but through our, our seeking to find better understanding, we do, um, we end up getting resilience that we didn't even know, um, we needed, um, didn't know that we had. And hopefully you are able to, when you bend, um, and lean, you're able to lean up against somebody, um, within this faith community to help, um, you know that you are not alone. Um, you are not necessarily broken. Um, you are just seeking to understand um, and find more answers. So let us pray. Dear God, help us to welcome both resilience and brokenness. Create new growth in us that we may reach our highest potential. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope everybody has a great rest of their Wednesday or Thursday um, or wherever you are at in the world. Um, hopefully our Holy Land group um, is going to be getting some rest very shortly. Thank you all for um, joining me today and have a great rest of your journey for today. Take such good care. Bye-bye.